fire started when people were working on a motorcycle in the garage. Motorcycle fell over and gas ignited. Unfortunately, there was a young person trapped in the garage. It wasn't known at the time that there was a fatality. Rather rapid control, just a single hand line. Second line being put in operation to work on the roof. Booster line pulled. Four-inch feeder line being used. Night fire on the edge of Santa Rosa. Two-story home. The whole rear portion of the house fully involved. enough fire to kind of create its own little firestorm effect there. It was an early morning fire in Bellevue District, just outside Santa Rosa, single-story dwelling fully involved, nobody home at the time, using a large pre-connected two and a half inch line. Hot wire down. No hydrants in the area, so they had to rely on a pumper tanker hookup. That's the Bellevue tanker. Great deal of very black smoke when they had it partly extinguished. Almost wondered if it was going to let go again, but it didn't. Chief of the Bellevue Department. house a essentially a total loss. These were large mobile home type temporary uh, buildings used uh, at a church school as a library. It's an arson fire. Arsonist was caught. These buildings, of course, burned very rapidly. The fire had spread both interior and outside the structures. Using a small hand line to try and get at some of the interior fire. Another line is taken between the buildings. Took a line around in back, which was also heavily involved with fire coming down between the units.
engineer on the pumper hooked up his monitor, deck monitor, and put additional water on the roof of the structures. That would be a Ward La France pumper. Looks like he probably has maybe three inch and a half lines and one two and a half inch line working most of the hose out of the bed. This was a hardware store, a large hardware store in the center of Cloverdale, which is a town quite a few miles north of Santa Rosa. Fire occurred on Sunday, apparently had been burning all night then exploded. Of course, the entire Cloverdale Fire Department with mutual aid from the town of Geyserville nearby, their entire department, plus the Division of Forestry, and other departments responded. The front portion of this block-long store had been uh, essentially destroyed by the time I got there, but the fire was extending back through the stone concrete portion of the building, the other half of the block, burning both inside and through the roof. And they were attempting to set up a large line to work on that. Looks like they wanted to get the car out of the way and couldn't get in the car. There was a house adjacent to this building and there was some concern about spread so everybody turned out and took all the belongings out of the house just in case. Now they've got a good monitor line going. Building was of course uh, completely gutted, but there was no spread to nearby extensions.